Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to discuss one very popular interview question for network engineer. Recently one of my paid student received this question in interview and then he shared the question with me and I thought to make one video on it. So see this is the scenario, this is a scenario based network engineer interview question and I am going to tell you answer as well in case if you don't know the answer of this question. So see guys in the scenario there is one router and one multi-layer switch both are directly connected with each other. But interesting thing over here is in this scenario is switch port which is connected to router is layer 2 port and you know by default router ports are layer 3 ports means we have directly configured the IP address on router interface but on the switch we have SVI and question is can these two devices communicate with each other let me tell you the scenario again see this is router 1 and this is switch 1 this is multi layer switch MLS ok on the MLS there is one SVI for VLAN 10 with IP address 10.1.1.2 slash 24 with IP 10.1.1.2 slash 24 which is connected to router 1 R1 and one LAN devices as well here we have some LAN users we are not talking about these LAN users these two LANs for now just we are talking about the reachability between router and switch that's it okay so this port the port E0 slash 0 port of multi layer switch is connected to router 1 and on the router 1 interface like on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 my IP address is 10.1.1.24 that means here IP address is 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and on switch number 2 on VLAN 10 interface my IP address is 10.1.1.2 and this interface is configured as trunk that means this is layer 2 port and question is can router 1 pin to switch or can switch pin to router 1 right see the question first E0 slash 0 of switch 1 is configured as trunk this interface E0 slash 0 is as configured as trunk means it is layer 2 port and there is one SVI for VLAN 10 with IP 10.1.1.2 slash 24 correct then F0 slash 0 of router 1 is configured with IP 10.1.1.1 slash 24 so both IP belongs to same subnet right now can R1 pin to 10.1.1.2 means to switch number 2 now please pause the video and let me know your answer in the comment section see guys if your answer is yes then definitely you need to watch this video till the end even i am not going to explain everything in detail because here uh, there is switching concept there is routing concept right trunking concept is there the trunking encapsulation concept is there encapsulation protocol it can be dot one q and isl so we cannot discuss these all protocols but i am going to tell you the answer so that if you are going to receive these kinds of question in interview you will be able to answer them okay but in case if your answer is no it will not work then again i have one another question for you that is how ping will work sorry if ping is not work if ping will not work then why ping will not work where my traffic will get dropped like when i will ping 10.1.1.2 means switch from the router on which device my traffic will get dropped on router or on switch or which packet reply packet re uh, request packet r packet which type of packet will get drop here okay so guys correct answer of this scenario is definitely no ping will not work and now see my student also said no in the interview only he said no ping will not work because he thought this is layer 2 port and this is layer 3 port right so that's why it will not work he said no but then interviewer said why if ping will not work then how to make reachability how to make reachability between router and switch they, they can say here i have one subnet let's say 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and here i have another subnet 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and i need to make reachability between these two lan this is lan 1 this is lan 2 so to exchange a route i need to configure any routing protocol here let's say ospf or eigrp 
so how i will configure the osp for the grp until and unless there is no reachability so how you will make the reachability this is again next question so if you have the knowledge about layer 2 and layer 3 forwarding is then only you can answer right if you know the vlan if you know the trunking if you know the trunking encapsulation protocol right if you know the svi then only you can make reachability between router and switch here otherwise you cannot answer okay so answer of this question is no ping will not work now question is why ping will not work so see guys if i will talk about the routing table of router 1 in the routing table of router 1 there is one route that is directly connected 10.1.1.0/24 on which interface on f0/0 interface in the routing table of switch also there is one route 10.1.1.0/24 connected on which interface connected on vlan 10 interface right so if i am going to ping let's say 10.1.1.2 from switch definitely switch will forward traffic from switch this this interface trunk interface because you know trunk interface is member of all the vlan by default right so it will forward one copy from the trunk interface but but when a were switch forward traffic on the trunk link switch perform tagging so be before forwarding before transmitting the traffic on e0/0 interface which is going to add the tag value tag of vlan 10 let's say my pc have generated the icmp message but our in the app table mac address of destination ip this is not available so machine my switch is going to first generate our request let's say here is our request so in this our request message which is going to add vlan tag vlan tag vlan tag information in the tag field and after that it will forward from the switch port from the trunk from the switch port but when router will receive guys router can not decapsulate this packet because this port is configured as what layer 3 port on layer 3 port i don't have any concept of vlan right so router cannot understand this isl or dot 1q header it can be isl or it can be dot 1q header it cannot understand it router cannot understand it so router is going to discard it that's why ping will not work when you are going to ping switch from the router router will check their routing table and it will directly forward traffic from this port right it switch is not going to like router is not going to perform any tagging right so let's say router have generated the arp request message arp it will check routing table and then it will forward traffic from app 0/0 interface but when switch is going to receive this arp request message it will check the tag there is no tag that means if tag is not there on the trunk link if switch is receiving untagged traffic untagged traffic means traffic without tag on the trunk link that means that traffic belongs to native vlan right and even guys only dot 1q support untagged traffic isl protocol does not support dot like untagged traffic you know there are two types of encapsulation protocol trunk encapsulation protocol isl and dot 1q isl is a cisco proprietary dot 1q is open standard isl does not support native vlan and dot 1q support native vlan so in this scenario what will happen when router will send any kind of message to switch router will send without tag traffic and switch will think this is a native vlan traffic right so maybe native vlan is configured as one so switch one switch is going to forward that in vlan one only right it will not send to vlan 10 this is the reason why ping will not work if we will verify it let me verify it let me show you here i am going to access router first router 1 and on router 1 so ip interface brief exclude and assign so see ip on fast ethernet 0/0 fast ethernet 0/0 is going to switch right and ip on this interface is 10.1.1.1 if you want to see the uh, submit mask because you might have thinking that proful ping will not work because of different subnet right so see the submit mask also so run interface f0/0 guys ip is 10.1.1.1 and submit mask 255255255.0 that in the routing table so ip route you can see this network is directly connected on the router okay so ip r in the app table you can see i have only one entry they are on local ip address local mac address right so we have verify the ip configuration on router let me verify the ip configuration on switch on switch enable so ip interface 
brief exclude and assign so see i have ip address on vlan i have one svi vlan 10 with ip 10.1.1.2 and line protocol is up status is up method is manual okay and if you want to check the submit mask over here so run interface vlan 10 okay so you can see on the vlan 10 interface interface vlan 10 ip address 10.1.1.2 255 255.255.0 right if you are thinking vlan 10.1.1.2 ping is not working and let me show you the app table here also so ip arc see router is not able to resolve mac address of switch switch ip address svi vlan 10 right 10.1.1.2 incomplete mac address is not available but switch is able to resolve MAC address of router and this is very interesting see ARC works at layer 2 and ICMP works at layer 3 this is just hints for you right hints for you if switch is going to generate ARP request router will process that at layer 2 only right there is no any involvement of layer 3 now try to answer of this question in the comment section this can be also the interview question by the way okay now we have verified everything both are not able to communicate now how to make communication how to make communication between router and switch so guys instead of configuring ip address on this physical interface of router what we can do here we can create one sub interface for vlan 10 we can create one sub interface here like f0 slash 0 dot 10 and then we can configure encapsulation protocol same dot 1q for which vlan for vlan Right. after that ping will start working yes then ping will definitely start working because now router is going to process vlan 10 traffic right so let me configure it let me take you to switch sorry router and config t no sorry interface f0 slash 0 no ip address first of all i have removed the ip address from f0 slash 0 on f0 slash 0 interface only you need to run one command that is no shutdown that's it right then exit and here i am going to say interface f0 slash 0 dot let's say 1 or 10 or 100 anything then encapsulation protocol dot 1q for which vlan for vlan 10 and here we can configure 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. this is the solution ip address 10.1.1.255.255.255.0 and now I can try to ping switch ping 10.1.1.2 and now you can see ping is working success rate is 80 percent now this time success rate is 100 percent right now ping is working so ip r done and switch can now also ping router ping 10.1.1.1 everything is working fine see they are on ip address right so this was an interview question and these types of questions are very popular for net experienced network engineer right if you have one year two year three year four years of experience and you are going for job change definitely interviewer are going to ask you the scenario based question first they will create a scenario in front of you and then they are going to ask multiple questions from the same scenario Right. So, so that's why guys learning these topics routing switching and some other ip services is very important for network engineer you should master routing and switching first and if you want to master ccn and ccnp then soon we are starting a live training for ccna plus ccnp where i will meet you live for two hours every day from monday to friday Right. You can check more, more information about our upcoming live batch on pmnetworking.in which is my website or you can directly reach to me or through WhatsApp. Okay, So my website is pmnetworking.in. If you are looking for any networking courses, you can visit pmnetworking.in. Check when the batch is starting. You can check the trainer profile. You can check my YouTube channel, PM Networking YouTube channel. Many videos are there. If you are able to understand my language, right whatever topics i am delivering if you are able to correlate it then you can enroll yourself and learn it master it okay so that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video 
please hit on like button this is a request for you and if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section but don't forget to like because your like is going to motivate me to make more videos like this right just half an hour before my paid student called me and shared this question with me right he said the interview asked this question to me in interview today only right and see i am making the video even the list of topics are pending but i thought to make video on this topic first okay so hit on like button right uh, if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and i have already asked you one question right so please share your answer in the comment section of that question also how switch was able to resolve the mac address of router ip address thanks for watching guys that's all i will meet you soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye